If you guys have been watching my channel a while, you know that I just recently moved to Thailand from the States. And in the process, like I have all of my uh, action figure collection packed up in boxes that I haven't opened up yet. So I got my Groot here somewhere. Not the teenage Groot, mind you. Oh, there you go. Perfect. What is going on? Draw it to crew. Ramney here, back again with another Groot tutorial. This time around, we are doing Teenage Groot as he appears in Avengers Infinity War. So I am very excited to show this to you guys. And uh, before we get started, if you guys are interested in uh, drawing the other versions of Groot, I have the uh, baby Groot that is in a potted plant, like a pot. I have baby Groot like as a little, little, little toddler Groot and I have um, a grown-up adult Groot. I have those if you want to check those out. I have links to that those tutorials in the description below. Anyway you guys if you're brand new to this channel here uh, I help you develop your drawing skills by showing you how to draw your favorite characters from video games, movies, comics, TV shows, books, etc, etc. So if you guys like what you see, make sure to hit that subscribe button and uh, make sure to tap that notification bell so that you guys are updated anytime I upload a brand new tutorial video. <sighs> That was a long sentence. So I am very excited for Avengers Infinity War. I've said that many, many times already. This Groot is uh, pretty, pretty awesome. He's got the um, attitude of a teenager as we saw in the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 kind of like end credit scene. So that's kind of pretty much all that we know of this Groot, this teenage Groot. So I'm very excited to see how different he's going to be uh, compared to baby Groot and adult Groot. So that's gonna be awesome. So anyway, I'm sure you are all ready to draw Groot. Here are the tools that you will need for this drawing. You'll need a pencil, an eraser, any type of white paper, and black ink pens with different size nibs for inking. Several things of note as you guys are watching this tutorial. Number one, um, remember that you can pause this video or hit that uh, speed button at the bottom right of this video so that you guys can pause or slow down my tutorial so that you guys can catch up on your drawing. So you guys have that power, make sure to use it. Another thing, um, this Groot tutorial does have a lot of details to it, uh, but feel free to add more details if you want or add less uh, fewer details if you want to that is completely up to you and on that note if your drawings look different than mine that is acceptable that is completely fine the goal here is to have fun so having said all of that let's get right to the teenage group tutorial all right you guys so for this teenage group tutorial i've got my paper in portrait mode we're going to be drawing him full body and we're going to try to add as much detail as we can and if you guys didn't catch my uh, other group tutorials make sure to check them out I have them in the description below this video so let's start off by blocking the shapes to make up the brute and first things first is I'm going to draw a circle right around here not too big of a circle but this big and that's going to be uh, kind of the his face and from there I'm going to just go a little bit wide this way and this way and then there. So that's going to be his head. I'm going to draw the middle of the face kind of goes down this way. So I'm going to draw a line going down here. So he'll be looking at this direction. Okay, we've got that. I'm going to draw a little chin now. Just like that, just to mark off where that's going to go. Here's the neck. It just goes down like this. Very skinny in comparison to the head. Okay. Now let's draw the body and the torso, like the body, is going to be a rectangle. So let's start off over here. Kind of, I'm just sectioning off the top here. So it starts off right here, kind of by his chin, just up to there, not too wide. Okay, and the next one is gonna be right here, not too wide either. You want that to go down like this and it gets a little bit narrow as you go down. And now compare it to the size of the head. If you got this as the size of the head, 
So that's about the size of the head right there. You want to go a little bit lower than that, about this much more down. Okay, so about one head height down is where you go at your narrowest, and then it starts to open up from there. Okay, so there you go. The next thing, we're going to draw the legs, and the legs are very skinny, and they're also just rectangles. And now the you kind of want the legs to almost be the same length as from the top of his head to here, to the crotch. You want the legs to be a little bit less than that. Let's start off by drawing the thighs. So there's one there, and then here's the other one. Fairly simple. Let me bring my, my paper up. And then the next one, you'll see that I, I bent this a little bit like this. So, and then it gets a little bit wider as you go down. And it goes to there. So this and this are approximately about the same height, okay? So you notice that the bottom leg it kind of does this little curve like that, kind of bow-legged. And this one, not too big of a bow-leg, it gets wide, and then base, okay? So we can make this one wider, and then this one goes wide this way. Kind of like Mega Man feet. There you go. Now it's supposed to be skinny throughout, so make sure that the thigh is skinny, and then it starts to get bigger as soon as you reach the knees. You don't want it to kind of look like, um, you know, he's got big fat legs and a really skinny body because he's pretty skinny throughout. I'm just fixing that up. There you go. All right. Now let's go. And before we draw the arms, let's figure out where the gun, uh, he's going to be holding a huge blaster. Let's figure out where that's going to go and start off right here. And imagine a line. I'm just going to draw a line like this. Imagine a line kind of just going diagonal like this. Okay, so like that. So here's going to be the butt end of the gun. Goes in and then gets narrow. So, I mean, again, this is just uh, guidelines. Draw them not too dark. Okay, this goes straight, and then here, as soon as you kind of, as soon as you pass the body, let's draw the scope, and the scope kind of goes up, forward, and then diagonal in like this. You want to make sure that these lines are kind of parallel. You want to make sure that they're, you know, not crooked, because it's a gun. Okay, this goes this way, goes down a little bit, and then straight again. So that's... The top of the blaster and then the bottom of the blaster it's going to go this way and it just goes straight and then right here kind of where the scope starts diagonal this way diagonal up slightly straight diagonal straight again and then here you have the end of that gun so it's like a, a space gun so it doesn't really matter if it looks nothing like uh, a rifle or anything like that that's earth-based because this is clearly alien technology okay there you go i'm just going to add the padding there in the back all right so we've got the we've got the blaster let's now draw him holding that blaster there you go pause it if you um need to to catch up on your drawings, right? All right, so shoulders. I'm just gonna draw little circles for the shoulders right there. And then long, skinny. There you go. We wanna end up with the with his hand, and his hand's kind of huge compared to, uh, compared to his arms. His hand kind of starts right here, his palm, the back of his palm, right here. And it sort of goes this way and this way. Knuckles are there. And then just goes in like that. So let me divide this into four so that we can figure out where the fingers go. This finger goes this way. 
this finger kind of curls in like that. And then these two fingers are just like this. So you've got those. Now let's complete the arm. Tall and lanky is what you want, right? So here's the forearm meeting with the upper arm there. Okay, the next, the next one, let's draw the fingers first, and the fingers are going to go here. One, that's the pinky, ring finger, middle finger, and then the pointer finger. So there's those arms, he's holding it, he's uh, uh, cradling it with his, with his arm, hand, I mean. And then here's the wrist, and this goes this way and this way. And then I'm just going to draw the fingers individually, I'm just creating these um, uh, I can't, it's hard to describe, but I'm just making it so that those fingers don't look segmented, that they're part of the arm, the hand, I mean. So just a couple of lines showing that they're fingers. There. Nothing to it. Pause it if you need. Okay. And then let's connect the shoulder to the arm. It goes down like this. You don't really see much of it. And then it goes like that. Okay. So that is Groot, that is the base of our Groot drawing. Those are the construction lines. So grab another sharpened pencil if you need, and let's get into the nitty gritty. Some Nacho Libre reference right there, you guys. So first thing before uh, anything else, let's work on the face. So let's get this started. There's Groot's head. I erased some of the guidelines. Let me bring that back. Okay, so first things first, the eyes. The eyes are going to be cute and big, but also mean looking. So start right here, and I'm going to draw a point, and then it sort of round, it goes around like this. Okay, so I start off with a point, and this one's a little further away, right here. Start off with a point and then I go around like this, kind of like a, a chestnut. Okay, I'm going to draw a circle here and a circle over here. Those aren't pupils, those are actually the uh, reflections. And then I'm going to color in the eyes. There you go. Okay, next let's draw wrinkles wrinkles under, and then the brow over. The brow kind of goes like this, so he's got that scowl. Like he's not one to be messed with. There you go. Okay, from here, just a line like that. He doesn't have a nose, but he does have a kind of a bump there. Okay, and then a frown right here. Tiny frown, like this. Let's fix that up. There you go. Okay, so that's uh, the gist of the face. Now let's um, figure out the cheekbone. He's got a cheekbone. Let's start right here, kind of in the middle of the eye here. Just past the eye, right there. It goes down and it goes a little bit skinny, like this. Okay, there you go. Here's the chin. Okay, this goes out like this, and then it goes straight up. Okay, over here, let's just close that off. And then let's start working on the details. I'm going to erase that center line. We don't need that anymore. And yeah, let's get let's get to the details at the top here. Um, before anything, I'm going to start in this corner. I'm going to kind of mark off a second part. Just goes down like this and then up again. And that's just a guideline as to where I want the the, the top of the head to look. Because it does he does have like a, a little dip right here at the top of the head. Okay, so I'm gonna draw some lines going up and then very randomly I'm kind of just doing this as I go. But I create these little tree bark like segments at the top of 
Groot's head that are rough. Okay, I'm avoiding straight lines here. And then they kind of come down like this, make a little point and then come back down. Same thing here, goes down. There you go. And then I just continue that over here. And this one goes up and then down. Over here, I'm going to create like one sliver jutting out. Okay, and then a big gap. And this goes up again. Another sliver going up. And then up and then down. There you go. So there's the head. I'm going to draw a little growth in the back there. That's it. We'll add some more details to it later on. Uh, but that's the general shape. Let's go to the rest of the body and let's uh, figure out those segments uh, on the torso. Okay. Right here, I'm going to create a diagonal line. This is going to be the, the chest. So imagine, imagine the chest. Let's actually figure that out first. So I'm going to draw a diagonal line like this and then the line going down. Okay, I'm going to create these plates. That would be the Groot, that would be Groot's chest if he was human. Okay, and then I just turned that into an odd looking shape. There. And then Essentially, the rest of the figure is you doing that exact same thing over and over again. You want to create this uh, illusion of a, a, a tree, like he looks like a tree. So you just want to keep doing that. Okay, you know what? I changed my mind. Let's actually start doing the details on the face and I'm going to teach you guys how to do it. Um, I've taught this before, so make sure you guys uh, check out my other Groot tutorials so that you know uh, what I mean. And essentially, here's a rundown of it. I'm drawing lines going down, okay, like this, and then lines going up, and they sort of align with each other. So those are some details. I won't do this too much with a pencil because it'll be redundant when I start inking it. So I'd rather do this in the inking process actually. And essentially I'm just drawing some vertical lines going up and down, following the contour or the curve of Groot's face. It kind of gives you an idea of um, the 3D texture of the face. And obviously I won't do it for everything, but there you go. And then I do it at the top. It's got some growth coming out like that. Okay, he's got some grass and some moss here as well, so you can add that as some details. All right, so those are some details on Groot's face. I'm actually going to cross hatch because tree bark kind of has some. Like cross hatching makes it look more like a tree bark. Not everywhere, don't overdo it, but that's kind of how you do it. Okay, there. Okay, so now with the rest of the body, I'm just going to create some lines to create what looks like roots. Okay, so very, very random over here starting with the neck and like this top part. I'm just going to create some lines that that make it look like he is a living tree. I'm just making this up as I go so there's no clear um, no clear instructions on how to do it. Okay, right here, that's the 
shoulder, and then I'm going to work on the arms as well. So here, just drawing some lines. Okay, there you go. I'm going to create this shoulder muscle by creating lines that kind of replicate muscle fiber and tree bark at the same time. And then here, like that. And there's no, there's no wrong thing to do here. As long as it looks like a tree, then you're good. So that's what my Groot looks like so far. I'm going to draw this line. So I'm drawing like a major line first and then just working around it. Right? So that's my main line. And then I just draw around that. I'm going to remove that wrist line there and just continue my way all the way to the fingers. And we pretty much got the fingers down packed. You just want to make them look like twigs. So no straight lines. Make sure that they're kind of curvy. Add those uh, knuckles. There you go. Okay. And then let's do this. And then I'm going to show you guys the trick that I used in all of my Groot videos. So let's do that. Erase the wrist line, kind of. There. Okay, so we've got this, you guys. Now what we're going to do is we're going to draw Start over here, draw the exact same thing that you would with the face. This time around, the grain of the wood is going to go this way. And then the opposite way for the other chest. Like that. Okay, and then over here, just... Creating these lines. It's hard to explain, but uh, you create these lines at the beginning and at the end, and then you create these diagonal cross-stitching all across, like that. So, lines at the top, lines at the bottom, and then just cross-stitch, and occasionally lines in the center as well. So cross-stitching, and then followed by these, the grains. So draw the grains, and cross-stitching as you go. Okay. Here's the green, comes out this way and this way. And then just cross-stitching as you go. So that's an example right there. Same thing here, and here, and here, and I'm just drawing the grains for now, where, there's, where, where they start and where they end up. And up to you to add as much detail as you want. Later on, when I start inking it, I'm going to ink those tiny little details in smaller, a smaller nib, like a 0 05 or a 0 01, 0 0 005 or a 0 01. And then these bigger lines are going to be thicker. So that's how I'm going to be inking that later on. There you go. And then same thing over here. There. So you got Groot with all of these like intricate lines. Give him some details. There you go. Now before we continue with the rest of the body, what I'm going to do now is add just a tiny bit of detail on the gun. I'm not going to make it too detailed, but uh, I'm going to draw a line right here, like that. I'm 
Okay, there you go. And then right here, this goes across and then up like this. And then this, just a little bump like that. From here, diagonal line and then straight. So right here where his hand is, is actually a, um, the blaster, like the, oh, I, I don't know my parts of the gun, you guys. That's where the trigger is. That's what I'm trying to say, is the trigger. Okay, so that goes across. Okay, over here, when I drew a line from here going across, all the way here, and then it goes down, across and up like this. All right, so here's the scope. Let's just add some details to the scope, like, like that. Okay, from here, this actually goes this way and then down. There's one, two, three diagonal lines right here. Okay, in this one, there's no wrong way to do it. It goes up and across, and then all the way across there. Feel free to use a ruler to make it easier, but uh, I like to freehand my things, so I'm gonna stick with a freehand line across there. Okay, and then right here, add this extra layer there. And then over here, there's some sort of round, not a clip, but just some sort of round pattern with a line in the middle. There you go. And then here are a bunch of rectangles, kind of where the fingers are. I'm gonna draw three, actually let me draw four. And the fourth one is smaller than the rest. There you go. Add as much detail as you want or as little as you want. You do what you want with the picture. So there you go. That's the blaster. Let's zoom out now. And zoom back into the crotch area. Okay, the crotch is gonna be covered. Of course, we're not drawing a group crotch here, but here we've got um, like a, a plating, just a very random shape that I created there. And then one underneath that, that goes this way. And then one over top of these. So these ones, I'm, I'm making them kind of geometric shaped with sharp edges. There you go. And then a line going this way, and then some plates right there, plates right here. There you go. And as soon as you have that, you guys, I'm gonna draw one more there. So it's different segments, right? You could kind of tell that it's made of different tree bark, I guess you could say. And then there's some sticking out there. That's the Groot butt. Okay, so once you have that, what you wanna do next is you wanna create rough texture around the edges of those plates that you just made, okay? And then let's find the grain. This goes this way and this way. Draw those lines there. Okay, this one goes this way. So you kind of want to make it obvious how the grains line up and you want to make sure that they're kind of not in line with each other. There. Okay, and then this one goes this way. And then this one goes this way. And this one goes this way. And this one, you don't really see it, but it goes this way. So what you want to try to end up with is this just multi-layered look. And then you keep doing that. You do that with the legs. Upper legs first. He's also got some vines sticking out, by the way. Um, I'll add that in a little later. So right here, I'm going to create the big 
the big piece first, and it goes around like this. Actually, it, it splinters right there. And then another one underneath that, that goes to the knee, makes like this diamond shape here. Like that, over here. And then I just fill the rest in. There's no wrong way to do it, really. So your Groot is going to look different than my Groot. And it's going to look different than other people's Groot. And that's fine. Because, I mean, his characterization is very open to different artistic styles. Okay. Here I am now just roughing up the edges there. I don't want any smooth edges. Or just super sharp edges. Okay, and then let's figure out the the grain. So I'm going to keep doing that, you guys, for the other leg as well. So I'm here making sure that the grain on the on each uh, segment is different, a different direction than the one beside it. On this side, there's one there. It goes across like this. It goes in and then down. Naturally goes like this. And I'm also being intentionally random. Over here, I'm going to create the exact same uh, thing that I did with the shoulders. See how I did the arms and the neck there? Right here, I do the same thing. There you go. Now this is the part where it's really detailed, so you'll need to take some time to do it. I've done this a few times already because I have multiple Groot tutorials. I have baby Groot, um, two baby Groots and an adult Groot already, so I'm kind of familiar with this uh, way of drawing. But uh, for you guys, take your time, pause this video, and get these right. Okay, lastly, the legs. And before I do the upper part, let's kind of figure out how the feet go. Start with this one. The feet go out like tree roots do. It goes out like this, and then another line like this. I'm going to draw another line right here, and then another line here, and then one line over here, and then one more there. So I've kind of separated it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create these wavy lines like this. And what that does is it creates this foot that doesn't really have a distinct shape. It just looks like tree bark. Okay. Or yeah, tree roots going into the ground is what it looks like. Okay, let's do the same thing over here. That goes out. No line here. Another line beside it. One, two lines right there. One going out this way. And then the one going out there, because that goes in. This goes out like this. And this kind of goes out like that. There. So nothing distinct. It's not really 
they don't even look the same. And then from there, just to work on creating the tree bark that go around the, the feet, right? So for me, I'm kind of just making this up as I go. There it is on that side and on this side. You can also slow down this video if you guys really want to figure out how I do it, but uh, there's no rhyme or reason, just what I feel looks good and that's just what I do. there. So it looks like different layers. And now we just create some jagged edges and add the um, grain lines. I uh, forgot to mention, as you add these grain lines, you want to make sure that they're not all the same size either. So some are longer than the others, like that. I'm just going to continue that here. Cross hatching to give that root effect. go. I'm going to be doing a lot of this again when I ink, so kind of just hurrying it up. And once you have that, you guys, we are practically finished with our Teenage Groot tutorial. So there you go. Um, just make sure that you add the details, add as much details as you want, or as little if you guys want that as well. That is completely up to you. But that is how you draw a Teenage Groot as he appears in Avengers Infinity War. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Check out my other um, Infinity War tutorials that's coming up and I've already done two. And uh, I do have a playlist for all, for all of that, including the all the Groots and the Guardians of the Galaxy. So check them out in the description. Thank you, you guys, for watching. And I will see you again next time. And you guys, that is all the time that we have for this tutorial. Thank you for watching all the way to the very end of this video. Um, doing so just makes me really happy. And it does help this channel a lot if you guys watch all the way to the very end. So thank you for that. Anyway, if you guys are proud of your drawings, I would love to see them. So please head on over to the Google Plus community or on Instagram and tag me at Draw2 so that I can see your artwork. And I love seeing everybody's uh, work. Um, I try my best to uh, like them at least, and yeah, it's it, it just I feel very proud when I know that I've helped someone uh, fulfill their artistic uh, dreams.
As I mentioned in the beginning, there are other Groot tutorials, so make sure you guys check that out in the description below. Uh, down below as well, I have a link to my Avengers Infinity War um, playlist, so make sure to check that out. I also have a Guardians of the Galaxy playlist down there. Check that out as well. If you guys did enjoy this video, it would help me a great deal if you guys liked this video. Comment it down below. Nice, nice comments, you guys. Or share this with your friends in social media. That would help me a great deal. Speaking of social media, don't forget you guys can add me on Facebook, on Instagram, on Google+, and of course you guys can find me on my website, draw2.com, where you can download a free coloring page of this Teenage Groot that we just did in this, this video right here. So make sure to check that out on my website. Again, you guys, all of the links to all of that are down in the description below. So make sure to read it. So anyway, that is it. I think we're done. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, stay tuned for more so you can learn to draw too. I almost forgot my slogan there. All right. Take care, guys.